11 days ago in Ypsilanti, Michigan, Ohio basketball lost to Eastern Michigan by 36 points. On Saturday, revenge and a three-point win at the Roundhouse on Richland. Final score, Ohio 76, Eastern Michigan 73. Hello again. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Our post-game report is supported by Donwood Toyota. See him on the web at donwoodtoyota.com, 900 East State Street in Athens. This was never comfortable, Rob, but Ohio did enough on the offensive and defensive end at the line, too, to be able to win this one. Yeah, and a 39-point swing from a couple weeks ago. Ohio got the lead to 15, got it out to five possessions, middle of the second half, and then one guy did it all, scoring 24 of 25 points. Raven Lee's his name, and he put on a performance probably almost as good, if not better, what Bean did midweek here. Yeah, a couple more points than Bean had midweek, and Raven Lee was a one-man wrecking crew for the Eagles, a very athletic bunch. To their credit, they never got their dauber down. They, able, they were able to play through some uh, tough stretches. Ohio was up by double figures and really led the whole way from 15-14 on. 15-14 to 14 was the advantage in the first half, and then they were able to withstand the Eagle charge. Double-double by Tony Campbell. Double digits by Mo Endor. Nice ball game by Bean Willis, and then a couple other guys. Ohio doesn't win this game uh, if uh, Trey Setti doesn't do what he did and if Kyrie Harley doesn't do what he does. Well, second half, Ohio had to play a lot of two bigs out there with Treg and two bigs out there with Kyrie, and Kyrie was in a position of breaking some press, handling the ball like a guard some. But big picture, you saw much better post-to-post -post passing, passing across and through the zone, and Ohio finally executing. Same game plan as two weeks ago, but executing, getting to the high post and getting scores from the elbow yeah. or from the man passing off the elbow. So it's win number nine on the year for the Bobcats, and that's win number four in the Mid-American Conference. Here's how it looked and sounded to the round house on Richland on a Sibs weekend Saturday. Willis at the top, ball deflected, Campbell high on the right, five to shoot. It's Endor, long two, baseline right, yes. With about three on the shot clock, Mo Endor with the bucket there. Out high, it's Tally, he wears one in white, slides it to the left side. There, number five is Jodan Price, and he just rimmed and banked a three in. And the Eagles are on top 7-2. It is Willis straight on. Back to Taylor. Ryan penetrates, gives it to Campbell, shoots from the back logo. It's short, but it rimmed in. Convo rims, Rob, are like sewers. Everything rolls in. This is against that blasted 2-3 zone. Off onto the right side. Tim Bond got up there, picked the pocket of Bean. Here comes a layup for Tally. Live ball turnover was just the bane of the Bobcats' existence. And Ypsilanti, 14-9. Ohio down five. Out high, it's Stevie Taylor. Now fires into the post to Laster, right-hand hook. Yes, thank you, 14-11. Cats down three. Stevie Taylor to the foul line, beneath the line, on a bounce to Endor, who worked against traffic. What a hard dribble and laid it in. And Ohio's down one, 14-13, 8-18 to go for the first half. They get it in the post now to Samuels, back to the bucket, turns in the lane, shot blocked down by Campbell. That was shoulder high, and Campbell stuffed it. Alvano left of the paint, ball deflected away, sideline right, saved in by Stevie Taylor, three on one, Ryan Taylor to the rack and he missed the layup, Stevie Taylor there to follow. This game has been a bit of a mess and Ohio's on top three, 17-14 timeout, Eastern Michigan. Stevie over to Bean, now to Stevie, point left, into the zone, handoff Campbell over to Endor for a two-hand, gentle at Rimrock. 3.53 to go first half. Willis point left for three, book it for Bean. 25, 18, 345 to go first half. He will go with four on the shot clock. He's straight on. Right side, Bean, ball fake, got a man up, goes head of the key, shoots and scores at the shot clock buzzer. One second left, and Eastern Michigan doesn't get a three-quarter court shot off. Halftime at the convo, and the close of the second half, far better than the start. Ohio 33, Eastern Michigan 24. Taylor to Bean, fires one baseline left to Campbell. Now to Laster, who laid it in low on the right side. Back of Nazioni, who had no other help around him defensively. Tally to Price for three again. Bang, what is this? 37-33, Ohio's lead is four. And all of a sudden, Jodan Price is their leading scorer. He has 12. Lee point left for EMU. Spins past Bean all the way in the lane to the goal, laid it in. Ahead of Campbell and a lunging Endor. Out high to Raven Lee, off his thigh, pocket right three, got it. 39-38, Eastern Michigan down one. He's in trouble out high, throws to Bean, right side three. Bang for Bean. Kyrie Harley to Bean Willis, Ohio quickly down the floor, Endor catches, laid it up and in, counted and a foul. 
44-40. He has eight. Bean Willis threw that pass, middle of the floor from about 40 feet away. Harley right back to Bean on the left wing. Evaluates, throws, Endor pocket left for three. Bang! For Mo Endor! Hand to the face defense, left hash. Now five, now four, pop up three on the way. Bang! For Bean! And that's a huge one. 8.57 to go for the game. Ohio on top, 59 to 46. On the right side, it is a three. It's splashed down by Raven Lee. 61-51, 7.33 to go. Campbell and Mo Endor, which is a formidable five. Raven Lee pushed off on Bean. He had a shot spiked off the glass and a smile by Campbell. Quickly down the floor, Endor layup, yes. 64-53. Right side Lee, decks it foul line right, shoots, scores. 64-55, timeout Eastern Michigan. Endor was closing on him, then Nazioni terminated his dribble. Back high on the right, Raven Lee for three, bang. It's a seven point lead, 66-59. Out high, it's Lee on Harley, pushed off against him, straight on three on the way, bang. And he throws up three fingers and spins around as he gets back into the backcourt. He has 25. On the left side, Harley. He'll drive baseline left, raises, fires, and scores. Kyrie Harley puts Ohio up seven, 69-62. Harley is four in some very important minutes tonight. Bucket here would be nice for Ohio, nine to shoot to the foul line, Campbell. Left side, Bean, open for three. Bang for Bean, on time, on target. Three fingers to the eye, 73-65, Ohio up eight, 208 to go. Lee spins to the foul line beneath the line, layup, yes. Man, is he good, oh, is he good. Tally, screen coming up from Tony. Now to the foul line, Stevie shoots, bricked it. Nazioni got the rebound ahead of Campbell. Here come the Eagles. Raven Lee runs down the lane of the old shot. Spiked down by Endor and out of bounds. How do you do? 73-67 Eagles down six. Raven Lee on the right side. Bean Willis is on him now. Three ball right wing. Bang. He hit it again. And he smiles as he gets up. 73-70. 1-11 to go. 50 seconds left. Here come the Eagles. Tally left wing. Over to Bond. Left sideline for three. Bang. 75, 73, 45 seconds left. I'm surprised Raven Lee relinquished the ball. They got it to Bond. So one more coming up for Stevie Taylor. 76, 73, 12 seconds left. Shoots. Bricked it off the back iron and door. Got the rebound tie up. Jump ball going to the way of the Eagles. Lee is left wing with Bean Willis. Here comes the inbound. It's Tally. Ohio up three. Tally at the foul, or rather at the top. Over to the right side with five. Now with four. Now it's Lee on the right sideline. Turns, fires up one from deep. No good. Rebound. Ohio blocked away. Bobcats win. Bobcats win. Bobcats win. So now Ohio has used the home court advantage to win two in a row. If Ohio wins another one, that is uh, three in a row. And that's a sweep of the homestand. Central Michigan comes up next. Ohio could have gotten blown out on the mid-Michigan Mount, but didn't. Played hard, lost by five to the Chippewas a couple of weekends ago. So anything can happen, and, and really it, it's an attainable job for Ohio to win three in a row. Yeah, they got down, down by a bunch, got it back to two-possession game late in Mount Pleasant, showed they can play with those guys. And Central's going to do what they did again. They're going to roll out some pace. You've got to stop them from shooting the three. Don't let them control the tempo of that game. And Ohio is so much better defensively than I think where they were two weeks ago. Yeah, it was a good effort by Ohio to withstand the Eagle charge. Ohio wins 76-73 over Eastern Michigan. The Saul Phillips Show is on at Latitude 39 at Baker Center on Ohio University's campus Monday night on our network from 6 until 7. And then we light the network lamp on the largest station radio network in the MAC on Tuesday night at 6.30 for a tip at 7 o'clock as Ohio takes on CMU. We will see you there. Done Tuesday night. Join us. Our postgame report is supported by Donwood Toyota. See him on the web at DonwoodToyota.com. For Ryan Cochran and the very hardworking Bobcat TV crew, and for Rob C., I'm Russ Eisenstein. And yes, this is, oh, yes, it is Bobcat TV.